What's going on, guys? Johnny Sports Talk here. Been watching the playoffs uh, the past two weeks, and uh, around this time every year, you know, obviously, whether the Eagles are in or not, you know, I definitely still watch a big football fan. Um, and I always like to tie in the successes of these playoff teams, why they're winning, and relate it to us as Eagles fans. Now, so far, the, the playoffs have been pretty exciting. A lot of exciting games, a lot of uh, down-to-the-wire football, and it's been great to watch, great matchups. But the one thing that I've noticed with all these playoff teams, and it's no brand-new breaking news to anybody, these, all these teams have that quarterback in place. But it's not just that. They have great defenses as well. The, the only team I'd give this exception to would be the Denver Broncos. Now, Peyton Manning is not the same Peyton Manning that we all were used to seeing. But their defense is really good. And they're the reason why that they are this far in the playoffs. I always say, in order to win in the NFL today, you need to have a great quarterback. If you don't have that great quarterback, you need that that stout defense. Arizona, Denver, I would not start my franchise with either Carson Palmer or Peyton Manning. Now, Carson Palmer has put up some great stats this year. He's had a fantastic season. But personally, I think he's a product of the system. He's He has the tools. He can play quarterback in this league. He's a good quarterback in this league. But Bruce Arians has surrounded him with talent, talented playmakers and they've called great game plans week in and week out the smartest move Bruce Arians did was moving Larry Fitzgerald to the slot and that has been created big mismatches because there's not receive any receiver any sec any defensive back that can cover Larry Fitzgerald and there's not a linebacker that can that can keep up with his speed and that has worked so well in the Arizona Cardinals' favor, as well as a great defense that they have as well and a running game. Obviously, we know the New England Patriots. Tom Brady will always be Tom Brady with Bill Belichick. Those two, those two are essentially unstoppable. And in Carolina, as we all know, they have Superman, Cam Newton, and that stout defense, and they have probably the biggest heart out of all four teams left. And I I think that's theirs for the taking. Now with all that, how does that all tie in with the Eagles? As we all know, Doug Peterson, finally, his team got eliminated from the playoffs, and he is officially our head coach. So it's going to be interesting to see, for me, the transition the Eagles will have from Chip Kelly to Doug Peterson. Everything I mentioned, I really hope that Jeffrey Lurie and the whole Eagles organization takes a good look at these playoffs and finally see that there's no shortcut in winning in the NFL. There's one way of doing it, and that's it. You win up front line of scrimmage, defense will win championships. It's, it's still alive, I believe strongly that's still alive, and we need a quarterback. These two things have to get fixed this offseason. I want to see them play in the NFC Championship game again. I want to see those days again. I want to see them play with this with the style defense, you know, and whether a quarterback is Sam Bradford or a young guy from the draft or my choice for next season would be Chase Daniel. Um, I want a defense that can take the pressure off the offense. Now, many fans like myself who saw that Chiefs-Patriots game Saturday feel a little bit worried. As we all know, that there's no nothing different with Andy Reid. We saw him poorly use a clock yet again. The same stuff we saw for 14 years in Philly. He still can't manage a clock. And as an Eagle fan, you can only hope that Doug Peterson learns from Andy Reid and his mistakes and learns that we have to manage the clock better. You can't huddle in a two-minute drill. You got to do the, the hurry up. You have to. And then Saturday, we saw our boy, Sean McDermott, call one of the best game plans I've seen this year against the Seattle Seahawks. And it just was like a smack to Jeffrey Lurie's face like, 
you didn't even give me an interview. Now, granted, the game almost did get away from the Carolina Panthers, but they still held on strong, and that's due to the heart of that team. But Sean McDermott proved to like he proved to us that he's ready to be a coach. He called a great game plan to stop the Seattle Seahawks offense. Now, the the only flaw with the the uh, Carolina Panthers is they do have a problem. They have some problems. I'm not going to go that far, but they have some problems when it comes to the spread uh, spread hurry up offense that's the best way to attack this team the Eagles proved it when they played them earlier in the season now they didn't they only scored 16 points but they racked up a lot of yards and Ryan Matthews had a great game in that game and they did a great job and Seattle did a great job running that hurry up no huddle offense throughout that second half where they scored 24 points and Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson but that's that was the only way to stop him. But regardless, that was my top choice. And I don't understand how Jeffrey doesn't even give him an interview. Even though I love football, these playoffs always are tough to watch when the Eagles aren't in it. I love my Eagles. I love those birds. These guys need to win a Super Bowl. This city is starving for a damn Super Bowl. And the Eagles are are the number one love in Philly. We got to get a Super Bowl. We have to start. Jeffrey Lurie in this organization has to start thinking championships. The way we're thinking right now is not conducive to winning football. I just think this whole coaching process they've went through so far is just all the facts you need, all the proof you need that this is not working right now. This is not the way to do it. Um, I'm not going to say Doug Peterson. I'm not going to write him off yet. I, th- I think he can win this league. But it's still it's still up in the air. We'll see what happens. I am going to be op- I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be positive. But we need to start playing championship style football. These four last four teams that are in the playoffs are building the blue have shown the blueprint in order to win in the NFL. And I hope the Eagles catch on to this. Johnny Sports Talk. Go Birds!